think we're not famous enough for that. Not famous? Okay, so here we go. We've got, we've got a question here where we have a function, f is defined as a rational function 2x minus 3 over x minus 1. Obviously, x can't equal 1. Why is that? Because x minus 1, 1 minus 1 would be 0, and you can't divide by 0. Can't divide by 0, or the world falls apart, and there's all kinds of problems. So, we are going to first find an expression for the inverse of x. So, what's our first step when we do that? Do x equals 2y minus 3 over y minus 1. 2y minus 3 over y minus 1. And then how do we proceed to find the inverse? You group all the y's together on one side. All the y's together on one side. So we'll do that in two steps. Let's go y minus 1 times x. So xy minus x equals 2y minus 3. And then, just as been pointed out by one of my two lovely assistants, we bring <laughs> all the y's to one side and we're getting close. Now, it's kind of in two different places. What do we do with it next? You factor the y out. Factor the y. Okay, you will be assistant one, and the other individual in the room will be assistant <laughs> two to be anonymous here. Okay, excellent. Once you factor the y, it makes it very easy. Assistant number one, what do we do next? Is that me? You. You're two. You're one, you're two. <laughs> okay, you divide both sides by x minus two. Excellent. And then just to have some nice notation here, we bring back the f inverse of x equals x minus 3 over x minus 2. Also rational function. Good. That gets us through the answer to part A. Good thing I can draw nice boxes. Yay. Now, I like that enthusiasm, <laughs> assistant number 2. Very good. All right. Then for part B, this is where it gets a bit uh, difficult, unique, if you like. You got the absolute value of the inverse equals 1 plus the, uh, the inverse itself. That's kind of messy. We now know the inverse is sitting here. But let's have a quick review. Go back to grade 9. The absolute value of x equals 4 has two different answers. x equals 4 or assistant number 2. Negative 4. Yes, two different answers. So, in order to solve this equation, let's first set up the inverse of x Oops. equals 1 plus the inverse of x, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense because it just cancelled out. So, the other thing that we have a look at is the negative, right? Like we did up here, this is just a side, a side review from grade 9, right? Okay, but the negative equals 1 plus the inverse of x. Okay, so now what can we do next there, assistant number 1? Put in the numbers. No. <laughs> assistant number 2. Bring that over to the other. Good. So that you end up with negative 1 equals 2 times the inverse of x. All right? Of course, you could have done it the way that uh, assistant number one has suggested. <laughs> However, then you have kind of a mess. So let's first collect the inverses together on one side. Now we have a nice equation. And we have 2 times x minus 3 over x minus 2. And we're black. Bleh. No, we're not black. We are back in grade 10, where we can just solve this rational expression. So divide by 2. We have minus one half. No, I don't want to do that. I don't like fractions. I like them. I'm not against them. Um, so you have minus x plus 2 equals 2x minus 6. So 3x equals 8. x equals 8 over 3. And that is the solution to this big mess. So. Yay. <laughs> All right, so when we have a look here, the, the notation was sloppy, so just remember what happened in grade 9, right? How you deal with absolute value, or wh whatever grade you were in, whatever, when you learned what absolute value expressions were, back it up to an easier problem, and then solve the more difficult. One answer didn't make any sense, and the other answer did. Good.